Today we're going to learn how to play Bizarre, a classic game by Sid Saxon. Bizarre is written for two to six players, so it can play lots of people, and it's written for eight years and older, and it takes about 30 or 45 minutes to play. Here's the box, and here is what's in the box. This is the setup. You get a total of 10 of these cards, and on the back side of each card are formulas. You randomly choose two of these so that each time you play Bizarre, it plays differently. And you get 40 of these object cards, or market cards, and you deal out about half of them, four stacks of five cards each, randomly every time. So the combination of boards and cards is different, and this makes Bizarre play differently every time you play it. The rules are very short. They're only four pages long, and hopefully my explanation of the game will be even faster. You also have reference cards, which look like this, and they each player gets one of these, and these will easily tell you how many points you're playing the game to. So the gameplay is very simple. On your first turn, you roll the die. The die has all five different colors represented, and one side is a magic lamp. The magic lamp lets you choose any color you want. So I'll begin the game by rolling one die, and I rolled yellow. Yellow means I pick a yellow stone from all the many stones that are here, and my object is to try and get the stones that are included on the market cards. That's how I score points. The yellow can be used on a later turn to exchange for other colored stones. As you can see right here, a single yellow can be exchanged for two whites and a red. The opposite is true. If I had two whites and a red, I could exchange those for one yellow. Why would I want to do that? Well, because the object of the game is to score points. And let's look again at the card that uh, scores those points. Here it is. And as you can see, there's a column on the left that shows you how many stones you have remaining at the time you hand in five stones. Let's look again at an object card. As you can see, there are five different color stones on this card one of each color, and perhaps I'm trying to get this particular card. Now look again at the object card. When I hand in the five stones, if I hand them in and I have none left over, I score the maximum of five points. If I have one stone left over, I only score three points. With two stones left over, I score two points. And with three or more left over, I score only one point. So we're trying to do two things at the same time in Bazaar, and that is collect stones, but not collect too many, and hand them in for the optimal number of points. You can also see that these cards have no stars, a single star, and obviously the columns on our scorecard show that, no cards and a single star. We play the game until one column is completely gone, and then all the cards that show no stars stars become one star cards and all the cards with one star become two star cards and once again let's look at the reference card and you can see the three columns of zero stars one star and two star okay and we keep on playing until a second stack of cards is gone and as soon as that happens the game ends and when the game ends you just add up the points of the different players and whoever has the most points wins. So a very quick summary on your turn. Roll the die. I keep rolling yellow. I guess that's a sign. Roll the die and pick up a stone. Or you have your choice of trading stones according to the formulas. And the object of the game is to get these cards and score the most points. And that's the game of Bizarre. Enjoy playing it.